Um, it's past 12 o'clock and I came to check whether you were going to retain the room or you're going to opt out. Oh Madam, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just give me a minute to change. You mean a minute? Hi. Yes, madam. Hey. Okay. Okay, madam. Night. You claim you're okay, you hear crying. Do you want to hurt yourself? I said I'm fine. No, you are not fine. I know when you are fine. Look, since you came back from wherever you went yesterday, you've been behaving funny. Ruki, a problem shared is a problem solved. I said I'm fine. No, you are not fine. Do you understand? You are not fine. Okay? I don't know. Don't you trust me anymore to confide in me? What I don't it? want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Really? I should leave you alone, right? Fine. Okay? Fine. I'm tired. You know where to find me when you come back to your right senses. Excuse me, girl. Who cannot say it? Do you understand? Girl, you have to ask if you are losing. You have to see your senses. I know what to do. Wait for me. Look, get up. Father, I come against every prosperity, every thousand substance in this house. Get up. Let's pray. Get up. Sing. Say it after me. Holy Ghost. Every thousand substances. Thank you very much for making our time for this interview. That's the grief you have in heart. First of all, I want to clarify My family has decided to grant this interview based on two reasons. One, we want the killers of Terra to face justice. Two, we intend to open up to this video educate other girls out there are going to fall victims to this situation. Um, can we can we start? Yeah. David roll camera. Ready? Action. Good evening viewers. My name is Dithia Fimpon and now uh, I'm here with Justice Bokori and his beautiful wife, Mrs. Bokori, the parents of the late um, Toma Ofori, who was murdered in a hotel room in Usu. Um, madam, can you tell us something about your late daughter? Love to be 
I wasn't surprised when she told me that she wanted to clean a big booty in plastic. So, um, was that what she really planned for her to do? You get it. We are not a type of parents that impose our wishes on our children. We allow them to choose a part in life. Our duty is to guide and protect, not impose. Ah. Sir, what do you miss the most in your daughter's demands? You know, Tama is somebody who wakes everybody up in the morning for morning devotion. And she's been doing it ever since she was eight years old. That is what I will miss most. Um, can you tell the viewers the most memorable time you had with your daughter? I think the most memorable moment was Please, come. Can't I finish cleaning first? No, please sit down. That is part of what I want us to discuss. Okay. That's one that I can't even finish cleaning first. I'm listening. My daughter, there is no problem yet. That is why I want us to tackle this issue before it becomes a problem. Mom. Speaking in tongues as usual. Now that you're about to finish your master's, I think you should also start thinking about settling down. You are not getting any younger. But, Mom, I can only focus on finishing my degree before anything else. I know, dear, but you are done in less than six months. Then let me finish. Plan ahead, my daughter. Plan ahead. You don't have to wait till you finish your degree before you start planning towards it. Remember, you are my only daughter. I know. But are you not the same person who taught me to always wait on the Lord? Yes, my dear. Good. So why don't we just wait on the Lord who makes everything beautiful and perfect in his own time? Or is it that you don't trust me, your own daughter, any longer? Oh, my dear. I trust you. I know you will make me proud. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. So, can I get back to my cleaning now? Lord, I lift your name on high. Afternoon. Afternoon. Some para. Para. Yeah. How much? I'm buying just one pack. One pack. That's 50 pesos. Very okay. Back. Yeah. You know, you take two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two in the evening after. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Let's keep the change. Keep the change? Yeah. Okay. God bless you, huh? Yeah.
Do you have a doctor's prescription? Oh, oh, come on. I don't have doctor's prescription. How much will it cost me, please? Oh, please, sir. As I said earlier on, we don't sell rap now without a doctor's prescription. Oh, you don't know. Listen, you have the right to go inside and to say or do use the use of the to me. Please, I'll follow you. Don't, don't call worry. my doctor. Don't worry. 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 Don't But you're home. I want to spend the night at your place. No, well, you're welcome. You're always welcome in my home. But then, we are home. Hello! Madam, I want to sleep at your house. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Now, what's wrong with you? I'm serious. Let's go to your place, my dear. What's wrong with you? I went to the rooms looking for you. And we are here sitting down alone by yourself. What's the problem? Hmm? What is the problem with you? Sit down. We went to your place. And you told me you want to sleep at my place. And here you are, sitting outside. What is it? What is the matter with you? Rukia, our friend, she mentioned to me that she had a deal with an international modeling agency. Mm -hmm. yeah. So since she got back from her appointment from wherever, whoever, she's been acting strange. What? She she screams in her sleep. What? I don't know. That girl, she's just making, she's just making me uncomfortable in that house. I'm thinking of getting my own place. Wow. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. It's so bad. You know what? It's late. It's midnight now. Let's go in there and sleep, okay?
sir. Do you know Kashmir Johnson? Yes, sir. I know both of them. What is the name of the drugs that you sold to them? Rafino, sir. Did they buy with the doctor's prescription? Did they buy with the doctor's prescription? Hello? Wait. Guy, where are you No, 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 no. Make you no calm now. I didn't mean to rub it in. Yeah, the pharmacist. So, give me like two hours. Yeah. Same place. Yeah, I did it. Alright. Ah, Ah, ah. <laughs> last time my boss left small team, my boss came me like he go sack me. This thing where this business where they do now, no good. Every time they can't buy drug, no prescription. I then why? Left small team, my boss came me. I won't stop this thing. I won't stop. Oh, how? No, I'm not going to risk that thing. Guy, me and you do business. You don't think. You do like this. You want me to continue this business? Now you go double the price now. How much? It's simple now. So how much? You know now, double now, 500 Ghana. Guy. 500, 500, fast. No, no, I'll go do up. You go do up. Yo, that's it. Money, money, money. Take my boy. Even if it's not be business, I feel give you money. No, I know, I know now. But you know, say if they come next time, make you even if not fake prescription, bring up. No, I go settle. You know, settle me all those things for me. So when, 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 when you go, I go settle my guy. Pick your phone. Come on, pick your phone. What should you say? What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Don't play games with me. What are you talking about? You testifying that you've been raped? It's all over the news. It's not good for our PR. <sighs> Those based deserve to be locked up forever. And if testifying against them will help achieve that, then I have no regret. You took that decision without consulting management? Management? <laughs> I was the one that was raped, not management. Do you know what it feels to be raped? Now you listen to me. You will drop this case. And that is an order. Never. Stop it. They've been arrested and they're going straight to jail. They? Jail? Who are they? The animals that raped and stole my things. <laughs> Rookie, are you out of your mind? What are you talking about? 
Remember the day I told you I was going to see the New York based modeling model agent? Of course, how can I forget? Since that day, you've changed. Since that day, you've not been yourself. They dragged me, raped me, and stole all my belongings. My money, my phone, and everything I had on me. Jesus Christ! Okay, that was why you don't want to talk about it, right? Because I couldn't stand the stigma. I had to lick my wounds. Jesus Christ. Gosh. But they've been arrested. I was even lucky. I was not killed. But they killed your next victim. A girl in that same place. Oh. So they are the Facebook killers? Yes. And they're on their way to jail. I will testify against them in court. Wait. You want to go out in the open? What about the stigma? What about the stigma? The fact that they rot in jail is far greater than the stigma. It will help you with the pain. Babe, is that what you want? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm here for you, okay? Ah. Yes, coming. Oh, Detective Freeman. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen this lady before. Yes, um, she was a lady who had when she was arrested. Oh, this one I'm missing. So, madam, how can we be of help to you? I think we've been cheered. Oh, my money is gone. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Tell me. What happened? Who duped you? Hush. Oh. I think we are getting there. Lady and gentlemen, as you all know, this case has gotten excessive media attention. And we can't afford it has be equally become imperative that we need to re-evaluate as a result of a recent witness and evidence that we have gotten so far. Where are we at the moment? We have two star witnesses who has fallen victim to the suspect in the past. And we equally have the third suspect, a pharmacist in our net. Is a witness willing to testify in an open court? I cannot verify that information now, sir. Detective J, you have to make sure that she is mentally ready for this case. Doc, Sir. do we have any loophole? Everything has happened. This is watertight. A prosecutor's delight and suspect are fully cooperating, sir. Detective J, what do you think? Well, sir, I think we can nail them in all the charges, sir. And we will get a conviction on the murder charge, as well as a stealing and raping charges. And with the testimony of the two witnesses, Charlie. Eddie. Sir. I want the final case file on my desk first thing tomorrow. Yes, sir. It will be ready. I wish you a very good day. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. You're very welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Well, well. Lady and gentlemen. I just got a call from the commissioner. And guess what? It's a good news. You have been promoted. For the good work that you have done. Indeed, you have made Ghana police proud. Although 
they think will do the wrong things your way. I don't want to use the opportunity to let people know that the good ones are doing the good job. And we continue to give the good job. In fact, I am very, very proud of you. Welcome to today's news bulletin. I'm Gifty Opoku live from Crown Prince Television. Now, the news headlines. The government of Ghana has finally commissioned the N1H1 road. The Criminal Investigation Department has arrested the former Minister for Finance for 500 million Ghana CDs scam. Court jails Facebook killers. Now the news in detail. Justice Kobla, while sentencing the two suspects, declared that it is high time our law enforcement agencies and the society as large work together as partners in progress towards ensuring security of lives and properties in the country. The duo were sentenced to 20 years imprisonment without an option of fine. And the third accused, a pharmacist, was acquitted of the murder charge. This is the grand finale of the case, dubbed in the media as Facebook killers. Stella Dumont, reporting for Crown Prince Television. Thank you. May her soul rest in peace. Let's go take a shower so we can take a very deep sleep. <laughs> <laughs>